This is a goal kick coming up from Matthews, been known from Blue Ice to keep the Silver Sharks today. Clearance can't cross the half a line, headed down by Ukulinam Duck, controlled well by Mikhail Moray. A lovely pass to Adit Borde. It's Borde now, Borde goes straight through. Oh, what a lovely skill, it's still Borde, and he scores! Oh, goodness gracious me, that looked easy, didn't it? Adit Borde, who's just been purchased by Aunt Panthers from Black Thunder only a couple of weeks ago, has shown good faith in his managers by going through the Silver Sharks' defense as if they weren't there. He just went on a simple, straightforward run, and Matthew was stuck to his line. If you can see from this angle, Clarence, it took a bit of time to even reach the halfway line. It's a bit loopy. And then you can see it's Hariyani who's made no challenge. He goes to the player late. He misjudges the speed of Borde and attempts to tackle or block the player a little too late. Matthew is no doubt stuck to his line because he thought Hariyani would have done something with it. It's Matthew with a better kick this time, he crosses the halfway line, a flick on, straight to Kurt Bagi though, Kurt Bagi plays the ball up, and it's straight to Sankoli, Sankoli who's been having a crazy series of matches over the past week or so, the goalkeeper saves it again, the first save, I don't think it was just a quick reaction, but the second save, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and now it's Sharma, Sharma, Sharma decides to kick the ball up. And it's! Oh no, it hits Gosses back! And there's a chance here! Sharma managed to clear the ball away with the help of Kurt Bagi. And Gosses nearly got a lucky goal after Sharma, on loan from Baku, made a hash of things. And now it's Gosel with the free kick. And straight to the goalkeeper! Goalkeeper! Oh, it bobbles out of his hand! And it's, I think, Jaggi! Is it? who misses a sitter over the bar from two yards out. Sharma plays the ball in the left. Uh, sorry, straight in front of Kodbagi. Kodbagi with a clear in the side of the Kohli. A poor pass and it's Jaggi now. Just missed a chance earlier. Jaggi gives it. It's still Jaggi, intercepted, but taken by Agnihotri. Agnihotri, a lovely through ball. Oh, it's in! It's in! He scored! It's Shashankarada with that goal. He just flicks it past. It is a beautiful off the ball run. Agni Otri spotted him so well amongst the maze of AP defenders. And it was a beautiful touch through ball. Slide through pass. Dave Karada. Karada makes no mistake. It's 1 0. This was Mukul Namda earlier who failed in the tackle. Look at that. Absolute brilliance. And the goalkeeper came out. He was standing up when he came out. That's not the way to keep. Goalkeeper should be falling down at the player's feet, you know. He should try and make himself big in the sense that he should fly along the ground. Standing up, the, the striker can still see a lot of the goal and finishing becomes much easier, especially for a very talented and experienced player. Once again, slow motion. Look at the way he threaded this ball through. Absolutely brilliant from Agliotri and absolutely brilliant from Corrada. We have got in the second half it's an attack, it's Sankoli Sankoli down the right I think he's going to rip apart Jaggi here. Yeah? Yes he does! Brilliant play by Sankoli look at him go! It's all he has to do is stop the cross inside. Oh he deflected off Pote and now it's still Moray. Moray a clearance by Pote Oh, that's Sikarwar who's come back for a long time. It's Sikarwar. There he goes through. He's, he's followed by Lima. He's followed deeply by Lima. Oh, no, that's a, Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, my goodness gracious me. He's hurt. He landed really badly. And Lima is worried. That was a sliding tackle. I mean, if you would have got the ball, fine. But uh, in the end, he didn't get the ball. See, he should have read that Sikarwar had tapped the ball away. And unfortunately, I think Sikarwar was in a state of shock when that challenge came in and when he landed you can clearly make out that his knee popped oh this is terrible to look at and all of you people out there even the young people out there you have to learn 
how to fall. You, you have to learn how to fall. I mean, there's no reason whether it's a hard ground or a soft ground. You have to learn how to fall. You have to roll across and I suggest that you go to Mr. Curry and find out how to fall. Because, you know, even if this wasn't a fall, even if Lima would have got the ball, it, it, all chances that Sikar were would have fallen the same way. As he collapsed the entire weight of his upper body. Oh, sorry, even I grimaced at that. Upper body. It went under him. And once more, guys, once more, you know, just have a glass of water before watching this. Oh, there he goes. He landed very badly. And that. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Oh, I'm just wondering what this Kafana Media is doing. I think they're just trying to enforce the idea that slow motion replay that you have to be careful any contact sport you have to be careful oh you can see it just collapsed behind him it's got an acl rupture we just found out from the medics he's gone there and he's got an acl rupture he landed very badly and i am sure lima has professed a profound apology towards sikarwa and uh, we, we we wish him well for his recovery as he's been carried off the pitch but this is how the TZLC is now. It's very intense. The players are passionate and anything can happen. It's a contact sport, people, so you have to accept it. If you're going to play this game, the level of intensity is so high. If you're going to play this game, these things are going to happen. But can you believe it? In 11 years of the TZLC, of the TZLC's inception, this is the first injury, serious injury, which has happened to a player after a tackle and that too this is not because of the tackle but th this happened a couple of millionth of a second after when he landed even though the tackle was dangerous it could be said because he didn't get the ball in fact uh, if the player would have fallen properly it wasn't Sikaro's fault he was straight through on board and all the best to him let's move on now we've got Sharma with the goal kick it's Sharma Plays the ball to his left, straight to Hikuli Namda. They've had to adjust because uh, Lima was given a blue card. That means he's been sent off for the rest of the match. Lima plays it to oh Shibanki Namda, his brother, and then it's a long ball down. It's I think Shantam. Shantam should just kick it out now. No, he tries to stop it. Sankoli takes over, and now it's Bode. Bode plays it to the right to Bode, and Bode shoots it in. A poor attempt from the goalkeeper Matthew. He should have died for that. At least he's right next to him. When he tends, he tended to bend over like an old man, and the ball went in. Oh, with ten men, and the Panthers have gone two one up. They shifted play quite well here, did Aung Panthers, they did quite well. But Lima <coughs> is sitting in the, Lima is sitting in, excuse me for the cameraman coughing there, clearing his throat. There you go, he, Shantam should have just kicked the ball up. That's discipline, no discipline here. Shantam thought he was quicker than the young 19 year old um, Sankoli and he was wrong to think that. We've got, just got word here that uh, there's a big possibility that the VCM3, the third angle for the, which has been used for the camera, for the highlight show, might not be used from the next week onwards. This is because of a shortage of ball boys, which makes a lot of uh, stoppage of time. Finally, from this angle, Moray, who's been attending practice sessions regularly, he's shown how much he's grown as a player since joining TZLC. But Matthew needs to grow it a little more. His goalkeeping steals, and that's Sarkar with the shot. Silver Sharks attempting, they've been pressing from the first minute of the second half since that Lima injury. Since understanding that they are playing against 10 men, it's Unayal with the cross. It's a Kariani now. Kariani takes the ball inside. It's a handball. Referee says play on. It's a cross inside. It's an open goal. Gosal. And the other shoots. Straight to the goalkeeper of a deflection, I think. They've been pressing. It's Oh, they've been pressing non-stop. Have they been pressing too early? That's a chance. Another chance falling to Silver Sharks. And Alm Panthers is trying to get the ball away as fast as possible. At some point, they, they can't maintain this level of intensity, Silver Sharks. They need a breakthrough. And once counter attack from is this it? It was Atigre to Sankoli. Sankoli, Sankoli back to Bukuli Namda. First time to Shubanki Namda. Shubanki Namda first time. Beautiful play to More. Back to Namda and then down the right to Borde. It is. It's Borde who cuts inside. Borde plays it to Inamda without looking. Gives it to Borde. Borde still Borde on the ball. Borde 
Oh, beautiful play, Moray, Moray, Moray scores! It's Nikhil Moray! He's got his second, it's 3-1. And Alan Panthers are 3-1 up, away to home in the Cafandre Cup semi-final. Oh, this is absolutely crazy stuff. Down to 10 men. You know, they've, they've lost one of the star performers. He, they played him at left back because uh, he confirmed for the match late. And then Sivam Sikarwar, who was available for the match, was suspended for the first 45 minutes because he had not completed his match official duties. He came on barely for one and a half minutes in the second half and was felled to the ground if you saw that injury earlier. And <laughs> he played for one and a half minutes. Lima played for 45, 46 minutes and down to 10 men on the Panthers and they're 3-1 up. Moray, this was a beautiful passage of play from on the Panthers. One touch passing. More poor today, as you can see clearly, is allowed to move around with the ball a little more. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, Nikhil Moray. He's uh, showing off his style, looking one way, passing the other direction, and then he finishes. Matthew, once again, is just ball watching. Basically, ball watching with the Cessus players going very deep, obviously, because Borde tracked it all the way down to the goal line, and then it's in, it's 3 1. We've got some action left here. It's Agni over three with a pass down the right to Kariani. Kariani controls the ball, knocks it inside to Gosal. Gosal's got a chance here. He goes straight through and he leaves it for Kariani. Kariani shoots! And he goes wide from five yards, a tight angle. And now it's Senderman. Senger, sorry, Senger. Senger intercepted by Namda. And given to Mukul and Namda. Taken by Gosal. Oh, oh, that's another. Oh, that's another horrible tackle from Mount Panthers. The referee doesn't seem too pleased about this. He's given a blue card. Oh, that's shocking. That is shocking. I think it's the atmosphere of the match. The Aunt Panthers players have absolutely gone crazy. If you've got another angle, the cameraman seems to love these angles. Oh, yes. Ah, he never got the ball. Oh, that was a blue card for sure. Just got word of it that. Kafandra are going to be looking into this match and there's a possibility that the match will be given in favour of Silver Sharks just because of the way Aunt Panthers have been so aggressive in this match. As a TCLC member, you are required to follow the laws governing the rules of the road set up by the Kafandra Traffic Department relating to all motor vehicles. A number of members have been found speeding, failing to use indicator lights while changing lanes, and turning and riding without helmets, including the pillion rider. Please note that if a Cafandre official observes you violating the laws of the road, you will be suspended with possible further punitive action to follow. Be safe, stay safe, keep others safe. This was a Cafandre police bulletin. Rising Eagles attacking from right to left at the Paki ground, home ground. It's Chavan, Chavan. <laughs> it's that's nearby me sure the young lad is apologizing to the two referees who are refereeing this match today. Mr. Curry decided not to referee this match due to some uh, circumstances that occurred before and now it's PC. It says he's hungry referee in the Blazing Eagles right now, half and it's Amol Monga 
on this side. Now we've got Sudarshan Sharma just signed by Blazing Eagles. This is the second or third. Oh, it's a cross now. He scored. That wasn't a shot on target, was it? Well, it was a shot on target, but he didn't mean to put that ball in the back of the net. I'm sure that that was a cross meant for Praveen Sumati, who was running in, you can see, just near the penalty spot area. Look at that! <laughs> and then he takes total credit for it. What a player that is. Unfortunately, in this match, we did not have uh, coverage of the video camera 2 and 3. Just because the number of ball boys, the match officials were less. So, oh, that, that, that's a foul. That, that's bad. That was bad. What's a mole monger the referee going to do? Oh, that, that was in the box. It's a pop. It has to be a pop. I mean, that, that's a very experienced player, is Samir Chavan. That's Nway Virsha. I think he's had a heart attack. I mean, this is the second match in the row. We just saw just now what happened to Subham Sikarwar. And referees are supposed to, you know, at least take action on this. This was bad. That has to be a blue card. Blue card, at least a red card, ref. I mean, that was really... Uh, he went for the ball. You see, the thing is, he went for the ball. He went for the ball, but he didn't get the ball. Now, whose fault is that? Is that the attacker's fault? Or is that a defender's fault? You know, in my books, it's a... What's he going to give? Let's just see what he's going to give there. It's a yellow. Uh, that's I mean, Chavan, you can see he's clearly happy with that yellow card. Well, that, uh, in my book, was a red or a blue card. We've got Zhang Lei down, down the left. It's Zhang Lei crosses the ball and said, there's a chance here. A shot by Joshi. Great save by... Great save by Matthew. We just saw him keeping the um, other day. And now it's Ponappa. He's just come in for the second half. Ponappa gives it to Sadana. 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 A chip pass across. Headed off by Jovan Putra. Well done by Thomas. Thomas brings the ball down. Looks up. Plays a short pass to PC. PC falls over. But manages to control the ball. PC gives it down the left to Sudarsh and Sharma again. It's Sharma. Sharma still on the ball. Sharma plays it to PC. PC sees Thomas free. A lovely flick to Thomas. Thomas shoots. It's in. In the back of the net. It's 2 0 to Blazing Eagles. They had no chance, did Baku. Baku looked like a bunch of wounded warriors here. There's at least four or five players injured. Four or five players unfit. All of them totally unfit, I should say. Brilliant corner finish. The goalkeeper dived, but he landed on his chest. And now Sharma plays the ball. It's Thomas who intercepts. Thomas plays the ball. <laughs> the Sudarshan Sharma. You see, there's a Shivam Sharma playing for Paku, and there's a Sudarshan Sharma playing for Blazing Eagles. A lovely ball to it's Sumati. Sumati passes it inside, and Nirbhay Sharma takes his time. It's Nirbhay Mishra. Sorry, there are just so many Sharmas in this match. I'm getting confused. That was Nirbhay Mishra. He has to kick himself in the wherever he wants to kick himself because that was an easy chance he took the he took it easy did he that's Chavan straight at the goalkeeper Sumati who's replaced Matthew Matthew got a quadricep injury a few moments ago he went off and that's oh that's boss boss uh, getting a bit angry on Sarkar who's on loan for Silver Sharks Thomas Thomas deflected by Ponapa Thomas plays it to Suraj Patu who just came on for uh, Sean Matthews and now it's Sharma, Sudarsh and Sharma back to Patil. Suraj Patil turns around 360, gives it to Sarkar. Sarkar plays the ball to Nirbhay Bishra inside his own half. It's still Nirbhay Bishra. Decides to go on his own. It's Nirbhay Bishra. A few fakes, a few fakes there. Nirbhay Bishra shoots! It's in! What a goal! This is a goal of the season candidate. Nikhil Oswal, on loan as goalkeeper from Royal Warriors, had no chance. He was some eight yards off his line. And Nirbhay Mishra, what a goal. Let's just look at this replay. I hope you've enjoyed the highlight show. Here's me signing off. Bye-bye.